So on March 10th, you met up with a person. Yes. I test drove the vehicle, and at that time, we both agreed that we would go on with the transaction. And how much was the purchase price? He wanted 10.8. I told him I was not willing to pay no more than 10.5. Is this a photograph of the vehicle? Yes, it is. And you went to the bank? Went to the bank. I withdrew $14,000. And what did you do with the money? I purchased a second vehicle that day as well, another van. I paid 3.5. It was such a good deal, I couldn't pass it up. So and what did you I do did. with the remainder of the money? And the rest went to them guys. I paid them 10 5 Did they give you any documents with respect to this? Well, he gave me the title, and he gave me a registration. Exhibit C is a photograph of the title that you received in the name of the defendant, Troy Salond. Is that correct? C. Correct. Did this person represent himself to be Troy Salond? He never... Representative himself said he was Troy. He submitted the document. Did he sign the document in your presence? No. Because the second part of the document indicates that there is a mileage of 115000 Yes. But the certificate of title reflects 15000 Yes. Now, did the person that you talked to write anything to indicate the nature of the transaction? On the, on the back, we both agreed he said it's a gift, and we put it... A gift? Yes. You're a businessman? Yes. So you engaged in a deceitful act with him? In hindsight, I... Not in hindsight, in real sight. In real sight. Well, yes. And why did you do that? Because he said it was put it as a gift, it would help with the taxes or something of that nature. Now, also, what was the date of the sale that he endorsed on the title? He endorsed the 18th. Which wasn't true. Wasn't true at all. And why did he do that? The 18th was on there. And I agreed upon the 18th. That was another deceitful act on your part. So when, if ever, did you register this vehicle? I registered it on the 18th of March. And where did you register it? In Nevada. Then you got a letter from the Department of Motor Vehicles. And what did the letter say? The Nevada stated that they were having an issue with the title and the proper reading of the odometer. And what was the issue? It was a typo. You also claim that eventually you spoke to Mr. Salon. He gave you some story, as you put it, that he sold the car to the co-defendant, mm-hmm. and you then say you never saw this person. I've never met him in my never life. Never met him. Ever. And you never sold him the vehicle. You and sold it to your friend. How do you know each other, by the we're, way? We're friends. We've worked together on what do you do multiple jobs, you? contractor. You said to us that Mr. Salon told you at some point in time that there were actually 270,000 miles on this car. Yes. Did you have a mechanic check the odometer? Was it altered in some fashion? I'm going on what Mr. Salon himself informed me. Is that true, Mr. Salon? There was actually about 230,000 miles. That's correct. How could it then be that you sold the car to Mr. Hernandez? He claims that he sold it to a third party. Yes, that's correct. And the odometer reads 115,000 miles. Exactly. So additionally to that, if you look at the title, the area where you see the 15,000 miles on the original title that's typed, that line has been doctored also. That used to say 115,000. So you're saying that your title, when you conveyed it to Mr. Hernandez, said 115,000. Correct. And when the plaintiff obtained your title from some third party, it had been doctored to say 15,000. Is that your position? Either the third party had done that or he had done it. What proof do you have that there were 270,000 miles on it? If you look at my exhibit B, You'll see there in the release of liability, I had to fill that out, put his name on it, yeah. put the mileage, register it with the state of California, and I did so. Judge so, Tewalda? Speaking of that release of liability, I see the 235,000 miles written there, but underneath it, I see a date of 3 18 2022. That's correct. The same date that he went to go register the vehicle. Yeah, from what I can tell, he had sold the van earlier, but he didn't come to get the paperwork from me until, I think it was actually the 17th in the evening that I gave them the document. I mean, that's a huge coincidence, right? Yep. 